You may notice when you're speaking to girls, this happens. Hello. Hi. Uh, you look beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you. That's nice. And uh, what's your name? Virginia. My name is Anthony. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You look very shocked. Yeah, I am. Yeah? Yeah, it's uh, kind of a nice what? thing to just to say that you look great today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would you like to go for a coffee another time? I can't. I need to buy some jeans and then I need to buy some baby. Oh, no, no, like, like another day. Would you like to go for a coffee? Because I would like to get to know you. Really? Yes. I know this is strange, but I would like to get to know you. Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago, really? That's a great place. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, can I have your Facebook or something? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to look me up? You want to figure out who this guy is in front of yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Cool. Well, okay, I'll see so you. Bye-bye. If this happens to you when you're speaking to women, where you, you go in, you say something, give her a compliment, and then after that, you ask her a question, and then you go for the number right away, or you say, hey, let's go for coffee. If you're doing that, how do you expect the woman not to flake? This is you going, how do I go out there, put in as little effort as I can, and get women to just see me? This is not the way it works. It's not. That's what I'm going to be talking to you about today. Staying in there longer. Because the longer you stay in there, the more the girl will want to see you. She just doesn't get the chance to experience you long enough. And yes, maybe it's because you're afraid and you feel like, fuck, what do I say next? Or um, is she going to think that I'm silly for doing this? Maybe these things come up. So you eject. Staying longer will result to more dates. So why does this happen? When you're in there speaking to the woman, why do we as men feel like we want to leave? It's really for one reason. One reason. We feel like we have to hold up the whole interaction. Notice that even before you go in there, if you do this, you're already dreading, what do I say next? You're already dreading, what if I run out of things to say? And you're scared of, will I get her number? Will I not get her number? Is she going to like me? You're thinking about the whole interaction. How do I hold up the interaction? How do I go in there and somehow convince her to give me the number? And because the weight of holding up the whole thing is so heavy, you only have a one-track mind. As you notice, I walked in there and I said, excuse me, I just seen you from back there. I gave it a very generic, on purpose way of saying it. I just seen you from back there and I think you look beautiful. And I wish you could have seen how shocked, but intrigued and appreciated she felt. Like she was so interested in me. But me showing you that I was only going to stand there for a little bit and leave, how do you think that woman felt? 
she was trying to get to know me. And I was just now telling my cameraman that, man, I keep, it's keep, it kept running through my mind that she was trying to get to know me the whole time and all I was trying to do was get her number. That's all I was trying to do. Forget about getting to know her. Forget that part because that takes too much. Like maybe she'll give me a little bit and I won't be able to come up with another question or maybe she will try to get to know me and I don't like sharing myself with people. All the many excuses that come up because quote unquote I don't want to stay in there. It's too much to stay in there. That woman really wanted to get to know me. She even went, where are you from? She's like, you're asking me to go for coffee with you. That's what was her reaction. Did you hear? She said, really? She said, really, because I was so quick to go for, you know what? I want to see you again. I was so quick to go for that. And she went, uh, where are you from? And I went, I'm from Chicago. And she said, really? Or whatever her reaction was. I, I consciously stopped myself because I wanted to do it for you because I know guys do this and I used to do this, of course. And I just went for the details. For sure I did. I ha she added me on, from her uh, Facebook, she added me, she puts ad, so I have to re uh, accept the request, which is the best way to do it, by the way. She didn't know who I was. It was like, I'm not going to give you my number. That's no, I do that for people who I'm quote unquote close to people who I feel like have some relevance to my life. So she kept me at a distance because I kept her at a distance. She's like, how do. OK, uh, well, I guess the only way to get to know you is by Facebook. That's this is what a woman is going through in the moment. That heaviness you feel puts stress on her in a sense of, OK, I want to get to know you and I have to get to know you because you're not getting to know me. She, she doesn't want to have to do that, but you put her in that position of, all right, well, well who are you or, or, or what are you up to? And in, in that position, she has to become the pursuer. She has to be in that position of, okay, you came up to me, but then I have to now start to get to know you. What about me? As men, we reject, we eject too early because we simply feel like I don't know what to do right now. I don't know what to do. That is a scary place for us to be as men. So our whole life, we've been in situations where everyone is always saying, you got to have confidence to know what to do in this moment. You just know what to, you got to know what to do in this moment. And especially when you get into a community where it's like this or self-development, they never say hang out in the space of not knowing. They never say that. What they say is have a plan. And this is what make guys, you know, go in with certain questions and they find themselves asking the same questions over and over because they in a way become structured because they don't want to be in that space of not knowing. I know that I'll never speak to that girl again. I know that. Her world is, a nice guy came up to me. I liked him, I was shocked by him. This doesn't really happen to me, but I have to get to know him through the media. I wanted to get to know him in person and I definitely would have went on a date with him, but he didn't really, get, he didn't really want to get to know me. We eject too early as men, and we put women in a position of feeling this. That feeling of not knowing when you're in front of a woman is very scary. It is. Because when you feel like you don't know, 
and I'm talking about specifically because we're in this community, when you feel like you don't know, or when a guy's feeling like he don't know, in a way he's feeling like he's not being masculine in the moment, or he's not being confident in the moment. Or he doesn't have a plan. He doesn't want the girl to know that he doesn't know. So he'll do whatever he can to let her know that he knows what he's doing and he got this. I used to do this. I used to be afraid of women seeing that I was learning this. Like seeing that I'm not right now, yes, I am feeling nervous or right now I, I feel like this is a bit strange even for me. I'm not used to being in a situation where there's five girls around me and I'm speaking to one girl. No, I'm not used to this. I used to try to make it seem like I was all good all the time. Because in a way, it, they make it seem like if you're not confident, and I don't like this word, but I use it because you know it. If you're not confident, then women won't like you. This is what they try to make it seem like. That space of not knowing means that you're not confident. That space of not knowing means that you don't know. That space of not knowing means that you're unattractive. So in many ways, guys have associated that when I do not know, I am unattractive. The girl likes a guy who's clear. He knows where he's going. He, he's, he is able to say yes and no and be, and be able to be assertive about it. This is away from reality when you're dealing with yourself and with a woman. This is away from reality. Speaking to girl after girl through my life, I started to notice that if I don't know in the moment, then I just need to not know. That is totally fine. I got so tired of feeling like I have to know, like, okay, right now, I feel like I have to know what to say next. I feel like I have to come up with a better topic. Do you see how when I felt that, that brought stress on me in the same way with you. When you're speaking to women and you're ejecting too early, it's because you feel like you're under stress. Even before you go in, you're already stressed out about what do I say next? How am I going to get the number? Is she going to go on a date with me? What if she flakes like the last girl? All these different things are coming in because you want to just know, know, know. So for me, being someone who was feeling the same way, I went, I don't know. I don't. Yes, I don't know right now. I don't. I don't know what to say next. And I started to just sit in that space of just not knowing what the fuck is going to happen. I had to just be there. Yeah, I don't know. And what's crazy is, is that every single time do I feel that, oh, maybe I should just go for the number because I don't want her to see that I don't know, so I'll just go for the number. Every time I would start to feel that now, I'll just go. And she would be like, so, and I would just look at her, she'd be like, so, I'm going to go. And I'd be like, I know this is a bit strange. I've just, I've just ran out of things to say. That's it. And that in itself sometimes would give me the chance to have something to say. Or I would do something else. When I'm with a guy on workshop, there's many body practices that I teach him to be able to, in that moment, be okay. Because when he's okay in that moment, I know that girl can be okay in that moment. The charge of the situation happens in the space of the not knowing. As I'm here with you and I'm speaking, you may notice that sometimes I am very quiet.
that I may say something to you and the next time I say something, it may be three or four or five seconds later. That's because I don't know what I'm gonna say next, I don't. I trust that whatever I'm saying right now, it is resonating with you. But I didn't think last night like, okay, I gotta think about all these things. Okay, what's the structure? I gotta get here, I gotta make it here, okay? None of that's happening for me. And yes, did this take me time? Yes, did this take me having the courage to be in space? Yes. Does it take me having the courage for you to not like that and you to go, I'm not watching this video because I don't like the fact that he takes so long to get to the next thing. I had to have the courage for all of that. In the same way that when I'm with the woman, I had to have the courage to go, I don't know in this moment. Guys really hate this moment. They hate when they're there and they just don't know the answer. They don't know what to say next. They don't know these things. So what they'll rather do is just jump straight to the end. Uh, well, would you like to go for coffee? They'll just jump straight to the end. Um, can I have your number? Or uh, let's, let's just change numbers and let's have a coffee. They jump straight to the end because they are trying to mask the fact that they just feel, they feel nervous and they don't know what to do. Or they're not... They don't know how to hold a conversation. So it's masked by getting to the end right away. And many other things. It could be not wanting to share themselves. It could be the fact that they're thinking of a question that they believe she's going to give a lot of information from and they just go, fuck that. And then they just jump straight to the end. That space of not knowing is where you need to be longer. Because in that space of not knowing, something can unfold for both of you. And this is what brings me to stay there longer. If you want to, the girl to not flake, if you, this is not guaranteed by the way, but if you want to reduce the amount of women that are flaking on you, you need to stay with women longer. More time equals more dates. Remember this, more time equals more dates. When I'm here with this woman and I feel scared, I feel like I wanna walk away, I will stay there. Give yourself that challenge because you will meet girls like what you saw in this video who will be interested in you and who are even willing to ask you questions. When you're meeting so many, you come across these type of jewels. Women who want to get to know you too. You don't have the option anymore to leave early. Let's say you go out there and you talk to a girl and you find yourself wanting to leave early. Physically stand there. Just stand. That's all I want you to do. When you feel like you're going to leave and you feel this and on the inside, like, or you feel just go for the number. Hello, doggy. What's going on? You can't. Oh, I love animals. Oh, you even said that. Now I can't. Just physically be there. That's it. You may feel inside the, the turning away or, or wanting to go for the number. Don't do anything. Just stand there. See what happens in that space of not knowing. I'm not gonna give you the practices that I give people who come to my workshops. You would have to come see me. But stand there. Just be there with the girl. Be in what you're afraid of. This is what allowed me to be able to be in all kind of space. I don't care now. It doesn't matter to me. And of course, however much space you're willing to be in in yourself will come out in that moment too. Guys who are used to moving so fast in life or they're not used to being centered in themselves or they don't know what it, that even means, 
they'll find themselves always doing something. Trying to get here, trying to do this, trying to flirt, trying to do this. She wants a guy who wants to know her. She wants a guy who's going to stay there with her, who's going to spend time with her. She can't really know who you are until you spend time with her. This is why I tell so many guys, don't try to go for the number, go for the girl. Go for the date right now. Why are you waiting? To some other day. You have the perfect opportunity to spend time with her right now. That's what she wants. Yes, you may want to fuck her. That is totally fine. But she wants you to spend time with her. She may even want to fuck you. But for her to really feel like she wants to, she needs to feel like this guy is interested in me. You're not even allowing enough time for her to feel that you're even interested in her for real. Guys think that just because I can go up and say to a girl that she's beautiful, obviously she knows I'm interested in her. No, she knows that you're interested in the fact that she's beautiful. That's what she knows. She doesn't know that you're interested in her. That's very different. That's why when I said to her, I would like to go for on a coffee because I want to get to know you better, she said, really? Why do you think she said that? She didn't know I was interested in her. She's like, oh, it's not, I, I think she said this if, if I'm correct. It's not every day where somebody come up and just give you a compliment. I give this to you because I want you to have more time with women that you meet. And I want you to have more dates. And I want you to have more sex in your life that you want to have. I want you to have that. But why are you stopping yourself from that? The more stopping of yourself, the more you stop yourself from having that, you'll be left with women who are going to flake. Don't get frustrated by flaking if you're going to leave early. Do not get frustrated by it. Really. Because certain guys are like, yeah, man, I, I'm, just, I just, I'm just so like, why do women keep flaking? They have that feeling. But at the same time, they're not willing to stay in there for a long time. stay in there and have more dates or leave early and have a lot of women flake. You have two choices. I hope you take the first one because I know that's what you want. Thank you for tuning in again. <laughs> I'm rolling. I really am. I'm going to keep going, putting out videos because this is what feels true to me. I'm just going to put out this much. To let you know, I'm coming to Berlin, April 7th. And the tickets for that will be available this week or next week. Seminar, this is what I'm talking about. Finally, I can come to Berlin. I've been waiting to come to Berlin. If you live in Berlin or you live close to it, not London because I'll be coming to London at some point. If you live close to that, come to Berlin. I'm only going to two places while I'm here. That's Berlin and London. I will not go to anywhere else. And only 20 guys can sign up. You will know about this when I put out the tickets. I'll tell you why. So be looking forward to that. And in the meantime, I have a free Meet the Bedroom series. Everything from what do you do on the approach to what do you do bringing her home. Totally free for you. In the description box, go click the link and you'll know more about that. Share this with anybody who you feel this will help or if this has helped you, please share this with another guy. If he's been doing it and you feel like he needs it, give it to him. Subscribe so you can continuously follow me in the videos that I put out four, to, four or five times a week. I alternate. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that what you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow.